Hi, welcome to the Louis file. You know, there's two uh, important questions that we all have to answer. Um, probably more than that, but two that I, I was wanting to discuss today. One is, who are you? And the other one is, whose are you? That's pretty good, isn't it? I was thinking about Jesus uh, being tempted in the, in the desert or in the wilderness right after he was baptized. Um, he uh, fasted for 40 days, 40 nights, and the devil came to mess with his head, came to tempt him. And if you notice, the first two temptations, uh, the enemy came to Jesus and he said, if you're the son of God, turn these stones into bread. So the devil right away was poking at Jesus based on who Jesus was. Jesus' identity was at stake here. And the next one, uh, Satan, the devil, says to Jesus, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself off of this place, and uh, God will command angels to keep you from hurting yourself. You notice that? So the first two temptations are on Jesus' level of identity, uh, messing with who he was, trying to get him confused or to doubt who he was. And then the last temptation was based on whose he was. The last temptation, he comes along and he tells Jesus, if you bow down and worship me. You catch that? It just, it just kind of struck me today. So the questions are, who are you and whose are you? Uh, the Apostle Paul said it to, told us in Romans 6, he said, you are either a slave to sin or a slave to righteousness. You're one or the other. You are serving sin or you're serving righteousness. Um, we're always a slave. We're never our own master. So we know that we're a slave and we know that we have someone else that is a master. So the question is, who are we a slave to? Who, who are we and whose are we? Something to ponder over. Um, that's all for this time. I'll talk to you later. See you. Thanks.